Hello, today I would like to show you another interesting device, interesting from my perspective, but it's getting an obsolete. This is a TV and radio signal meter. This device was intended for measuring the, the signal strength of a radio or TV station on desired frequency. We can tune this unit to certain TV channel or a radio station and we can read what kind of signal do we get from our antenna. Here is the 75 ohm input because this is a TV equipment, TV radio. This is not a, a two-way radio stuff that have impedance of the 50 ohm. This is the radio equipment and they use 75. So the connector is also a different. This is not the standard BNC that you would expect of on most of equipment. So let's take a look at, on this device. As you can see, the biggest part is a screen. And yes, this device can actually act as analog TV. You can see my reflection, so hello. And maybe not it is a TV, but it was, because right now we are switching to the digital and you cannot use it anymore. Maybe if you have like this tiny Chinese devices that can create a signal inside the TV spectrum. I, I remember that was a lot of this unit on the market a couple of years ago when people were, were setting up a surveillance TV. You can buy a device with a tiny antenna and you've got like 100 meter of a range and you can find your CCTV camera on just analog TV. So if you have a device like this, then this will work, but right now, today, it's obsolete. So this is the model number. And as you can see, it's written in German because this is a equipment that came straight from the Germany. So let's take a look over here. We've got a analog meter that give us a signal indicator. As you can see, we've got a two scale. The upper is for TV and the lower is for a radio, the FM radio. <clears throat> we also have got a digital readout of the frequency based on the LED. We've got audio for, for the headphones because this device is the decoding the TV signal with audio and it's also decoding the radio. It's not decoding the demodulating. It's a little bit like a spectrum analyzer when you can hook up and see here the demodulated signal. And it doesn't have ability to tune into any frequency, only the preset channels. They are located over there. On the bottom there are frequencies that are corresponding, but you cannot free tune. So you cannot use this as a scanner, which is very sad because the frequency span is really big because it's go from 100 megahertz or even lower, 64 megahertz up to 900 megahertz but it's divided on the TV and radio channels and you can only fit into into that channel so that's quite sad next we've got a attenuator which is adjustable we can select how much we would like to have our input to be attenuated and we've got also a, 
a decade attenuator in the db on the bottom so for example if we got two radio stations on top of each other we can cancel and fade away the the one with a lower signal and we can hear better the local station and we've got our input panel that allows us to directly input the frequency on the radio or the channel on the TV. Here is our antenna input. We've got some kind of video input output. I'm not sure, maybe that's a demodulated video for the TV, so you can hook up something else, maybe a color because that's uh, black and white. We've got adjustment for the screen, which is interesting, just like on the older oscilloscope, they have a two function, so you can pull, make adjustment and push, and make a second one. So they serve a two purpose. I'm going to make sure that the loudness is set to the low because I don't want to get copyright strike if the radio turns on and I don't want to edit the video. So this is the front panel. What I believe this device was intended, I believe it was intended for field service repairman that you call if you have problem with your TV or a radio and the person was coming to your home and there was a question does your TV is broken or you have a problem with your antenna setup or maybe something is transmitting on the frequency that you have your TV channel and you've got some kind of interferences so the person was like completely blind and he don't want to carry on TV to make sure that this is not problem on your side. So you grab this device, he hook it up, set the channel that he have problem receiving, and he can read what kind of what kind of signal strength, and he can clearly tell that okay, this is a problem with the antenna because all the frequency have a low have a low value. Or if the signal will be very high, then he might say, okay, this is a problem of local device that's creating uh, some kind of noise on the frequency of the, the channel. Or he see that everything is displaying correctly and this is fault of your TV set. So this was device meant to be as a portable, which is, uh, which is a different way from we now today because today that it's hard to say this is portable but yes back then that was a very portable device and as you can see we've got a set of frequency that's corresponding to the channel because as I say this device operate only on channels except the the FM frequencies which are displayed in the megahertz so here you've got like channel 69 and that's the frequency that the device will be receiving when you select this from the keypad and why this device is portable I'm going to show you just in a second let's rotate this as you can see on the back we've got a charging switch because this device have inside batteries and you can see there's a 40 milliamp charging and there is a module so you can charge this device and you can take it by the handle and you can do a portable measurement and it's power on using a standard computer plug which I'm going to connect. Let's 
that give me a second I have to find my plug okay I've got it or maybe I don't give me a second okay so I've got my plug and we can turn the device on and I'm going to set to the to the TV and after a while you should be able to to see our nice TV screen it's blinking only on the on the camera it's giving you a nice picture in the lab but that's a common thing and as you can see we can I'm going to disable the attenuator and yes true we do not have a uh, antenna so it won't work okay as you can see I've got uh, my tiny antenna and for testing I'm going to use this beautiful device that came straight from China and this is a wireless FM transmitter and this device is intended to use in cars if you have old radio that doesn't accept uh, USB you can basically buy this you can connect this to your smartphone and this using the FM broadcast spectrum I'm not sure if this is uh, illegal but they are very very low power so there is absolutely no problem and you should set this up far away of any broadcast station just to not annoy your neighborhood and as you can see we've got a couple of frequency to choose from so let's let's go to that one because I believe or maybe that one 88.3 and I'm going to put that into my computer and I'm going to play some royalty free music and by the way I am choose the first one I, I do not choose it about any other ok so let's turn it on on the radio and there was a frequency of 88.3 0 and as you can see we've got full scale so I'm going to add attenuator to get this into a half and we can now play and that's it it's working just fine it's playing not from the computer but from And as you can hear, it's working really nice. It have absolutely no problem. And I'm going to turn the volume down, and I'm going to show you that the search is also working, and it will pick up. I have to disable the attenuating, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to find some kind of broadcast station. And as you can see, yes, it. It does, I'm pretty sure. I'm um, 0 dB attenuating. There must be something even on that tiny bad antenna. And yes, we, we pick up something. So yes, that's how this device is working. I'm pretty sure that is a really nice device. And of course, today Today it's obsolete, but still can be used for a display or testing the, the analog audio. 
So thank you very much for watching. Hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.